Hello YouTube fans, friends, haters and various other things. Um, Custard Trap from Edit Fiction again. Um, a lot of you have started coming up to me in conventions and recognising me. Um, I'd say the ratio is more in favour of people coming up to me and calling me a dick. That's fine, I can deal with that. Um, however, what we've noticed is our YouTube is actually getting quite close to a million views um, in total. Which may not be huge, but for us it's quite an achievement because we don't really use it that much. And we've noticed the website's been growing loads and loads and loads. So we've updated it, we've updated it, and we've put plugins in, we've changed things around, and um, we've opened up a cosplay section. Um, as you know, the whole idea is it's meant to be a community driven thing where our viewers and readers can comment with their own things and write their own articles and re edit it up and make it all professional. But anyway. Um, due to us getting so many views on our YouTube, which we weren't expecting at all, um, we've decided to start giving some stuff away. Um, we do want to raise awareness for a uh, charity event that we're doing, so I'm going to pop a link in the description. If you could check it out, that would be great, but it won't affect your chances of winning anything in this. Um, to win the stuff that I'm about to show you, um, if you subscribe to our channel, sorry, subscribe to our channel, that'll get you an entry already. Um, if you're on our uh, Play Expo discount list that will get you um, an entry. The more you do of our website, the more entries you will get. And the way it's going to work is we're going to put a big database together, and your name will be randomly selected. But obviously, if your name's on it multiple times, then you have a bigger chance of getting selected. Um, so if you keep an eye on our Facebook and our Twitter and our website, we will, you know, have other ways of entering the competition however if you want to put in a suggestion then feel free to contact us we're more than happy to listen anyway let's get started basically at Eurogamer we were given a big Borderlands 2 bag and it was filled with goodies um, we have actually given most of the stuff that we had at Eurogamer away it had um, Claptrap USB and the Claptrap teddy bear which we're keeping I'm sorry um, I had several games and a few t-shirts and bits and bobs. Now we did give them to people in the crowd because honestly I had the games already and I just wanted these because you know these are cool. However we have spoken to um, you know we've spoken to them and we've said is there any chance that we can get a few more and 2k have said possibly so hopefully we might actually be able to get another big loot bag for people if nothing else, I think we might be okay for more Claptrap teddy bears, which is the best thing in there anyway. Anyway, so moving on, um, we'll start with the t-shirts, well, in fact, we'll go for each company. Um, insert coin uh, gives this t-shirt, it's not been worn, don't worry. Um, they have also given us a few discounts, but they've said once we start to gain a bit more momentum and get closer to our goal of a million views, we will get more t-shirts. Um, so I'm going to email them this video and I'm trying to see more things like this. Um, if there's any in particular that you want, do let us know and we'll drop a bit of a hint. Uh, obviously this is a Gears of War one, it's very snazzy, it's far too big for me, but you know, I wasn't going to wear it anyway. Um, so yeah, they've given us some discounts as well. Uh, Level Up Wear have given us a Black Ops t-shirt and have given us a hell of a lot of discounts actually. Um, there's a good, I, I, I don't know, there's like at least 20 discount codes here. They're a great company, check them out. Um, but yeah, they're also giving us more t-shirts. Um, I'm not sure again, if you want to request some, tell us and we'll put that through. Obviously, we can't guarantee that you'll win them, but we like to know who wants what and then we can, because there's no point in giving people a load of Pez shirts if they all hate Pez. Um, we hate Pez, but we've, we're keeping the Pez shirts because we've only got one. Um, move on to Avatar clothes. Uh, we've got quite a few Alien Colonial Marines uh, codes for the Avatar shirts. They're pretty funky, I guess. They're, they're free. You might as well. Um, Dishonored, yes. They were very, very uh, generous with these. We've got a hell of a lot of Dishonored masks. Um, obviously, Xbox Live. Yeah, only Xbox Live, obviously. Um, no uh, home stuff for the PlayStation, I'm afraid. I'm sure you'll live, it's a piece of crap. Um, Try to pick what to go for next. Uh, yeah, there will be pictures of these on our Facebook um, because I'm operating this single handedly at the minute, so I can't do zooms or anything. We've got a Need for Speed bracelet. It's quite irritating. It's like a small, well, I'm sure you can see it. It's like a steering wheel, but it just jams and gets stuck in your pocket and is not very 
good. But mind you, all key rings do that. If you like Need for Speed and it's free, and you can sell it on eBay. Um, art books. Bloodlands 2 art book, happy to give it away. Was Blue um, art book, again, happy to give it away. Well, I say happy, the games are good, but we've already got that. And I'm sure some 2D fighter anime fan will love this. Uh, I'm not a massive Baz, Blaz Blue fan, but I did actually really enjoy Persona 4, so yeah. <laughs> it's just falling off my chair. Um, Blaz Blue soundtrack and Arcana Hearts Free Limited Edition. Now, the guys at Zen United again have been really generous and said that they will send us more stuff. Um, people have been very helpful with this, so you know, we'll keep people updated on what we get in. But keep an eye on our Facebook and our Twitter as I keep hammering in. Uh, Bloodlands 2 badges, they're nice and small and fun, I guess. Little Hitman doodad, I thought he was a head knocker, he, he doesn't bother at all. Uh, he, he's like a little action figure, sort of, but more adorable. And then we've got um, posters, yes, we'll do posters next. Right, um, there's a company that does um, simulation games and they sent us a few of these posters. If you don't like clowns, look away now because I cannot describe the horror in the office when we open this uh, like parcel and these posters are on top with uh, this pointing out. It was uh, it was quite horrific. So yeah, you can, you can win one of them. I know that's what you all want. Um, that's one of the discount codes from Insert Coin. We've got a few more, don't worry. Uh, Merlin, yes. I don't know if anyone's a fan of the TV series. We have Merlin uh, Volume 1, Series 4. So if you're up to Series 4 and need the DVD, we have two of them. Um, I'm running out of space on my floor. It's never good. Got a modern. No, I keep saying this. Uh, Medal of Honor poster. Not Modern Warfare. Medal of Honor poster. <laughs> My PC has also turned itself into sleep mode. Um, I believe this is a Persona 4 poster. It looks really good, actually. It's very snazzy. I, I was quite tempted to just keep it, but I won't. Don't worry. Um, yeah, we have sort of saved the best for last, in a way. Now, we get a lot of comic enthusiasts, and as some of you know, I also write for Comic Conventions UK, which is a great little site where we get all the comic conventions that are in the UK and put them all into one place and write about them and interview the guests. Um, at the London Super Comic Convention, I got several uh, Stanley autographs. Um, this obviously hasn't been graded uh, by CGC, but it's free. It's one of the few things that Stanley worked on for DC. Um, I mean, it's it's a good clutch item if you trust me enough when I say it's signed by Stan Lee. As you know there is a video of me talking to Stan Lee and everything if you want proof or anything like that uh, let me know and I'll link the video. Um, on live system we have a spare on live system that we are giving away. It's not this one it's completely new it's never been on a, it's never been open sorry um, yeah putting you all wrapped up ready to go um, we need to hit a million views and then sort of after that we'll start pushing the stuff out. Um, we've put in requests in various places to get other bits and bobs. If anyone is near Manchester, um, what we're going to, in the UK this is, um, what we're going to be doing is this gaming marathon which I mentioned for a company, well a charity called Special Effect. They work with people with disabilities so they can play uh, games as well. Um, they're a really great charity. I've been working constantly and constantly to try and find a place that is willing to house a three day gaming marathon and we've actually found a place in Manchester called the Fab Calf who said they might be up for it. There's also a place in Falmouth uh, called Loading and he's been a great help. Um, the only issue is that we're on the opposite side of the country so what we're going to be doing is raffling off some of the stuff that we do have here. Um, all for charity, it'll be like a pound I imagine for the you know for a ticket or whatever. Um, but as I say, keep an eye on our Facebook, watch our website.